Hello, Jerry and Kimberly Dearman here. Welcome to Daily Prayer. And today we're going to pray mm -hmm. over provision. Mm. I know it's a big uh, need for many people. It can be a concern. And so we're doing what the Bible says. We're going to bring our concerns. Mm -hmm. We're going to bring those things that even try to worry us to the Lord who has answers for us. So we're going to get in faith as we declare these truths over our lives. Amen. And you know, there's a lot going on with the coronavirus right now. A lot of people are still praying for protection, many yeah. for healing. But this economic fallout is also enormous and significant to many people. And uh, regardless of where you fall on that spectrum of severe impact versus minimal impact, we need to be declaring God's yes. word. And so these scriptural prayers we put out First of all, the scriptural prayer of protection, mm -hmm. and then scriptural prayer for healing. This one is scriptural prayer for provision. So notice they all are scriptural prayer. In other words, it's not just prayer that works. It's right. really prayers of faith that works. Jesus said, whatever you uh, ask in prayer, believing you will receive, Matthew mm -hmm. 21. And so we need to believe. Well, how do you get faith? Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the mm -hmm. word. And also, 1 John 5, 14 and 15 say, this is the confidence that we have in him, that right. if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. Well, how do we know it's his will? <laughs> well, if he yeah. told us in his word that he wants to do this, then now we know it's his will. And his will does not change based on present circumstances. Yeah, it's that's settled. right. No, that's, that's right. There's a period next to his will. Yeah, so God wanted us to know what his will was, so he sent his word. Yeah. So that's why God taught me this many years ago when I was a teenager, actually, and my life was changed, mm -hmm. to start with God's word, to start with what he said. And that's what we're going to do. You'll notice as we go through this scriptural prayer for provision, it always starts off with what the word of God says. So I want you to be able to get this. And I know that some of you are watching and joining us on your phones. And so this may be a little difficult to navigate uh, because it might throw you off the live stream. But somehow, maybe on your computer or something, you can go to either go to the rock.com, mm -hmm. go to the rock.com, or solidlives.com.com, plural, solidlives.com. And uh, on either site, you can download mm -hmm. the scriptural prayer for provision. You can download all the prayers, but that, that's the one we're going to go over right now. And so, uh, praise God. It's, uh, we're going to start off here. And here's what it says. I'm going to read it just as it is, mm -hmm. and then we can pray it, okay? Then we can pray it together. So uh, feel free to follow along if you have it in front of you. Father, your word says in Revelation 4.11, You, you are, are worthy, worthy O Lord, Lord to, to receive, receive glory and honor and power, and power for you, you created all things, and by your will, will they exist. exist. So, so I, I declare, declare that you are worthy, O oh Lord, to receive glory and honor and power, for you are the creator of all things. It is only because of you that the universe, the earth, and all of its inhabitants exist. So Lord, we're saying right now, we, we recognize that because you created all things you and because all God. things exist Everything at your pleasure according to your will. When we come to you for provision, we start there. Yes. <laughs> that you started this whole thing. Thank you, you created Lord. the universe. You created the earth. You, you created the, the fruit trees. You created the soil. You created the clouds that rain. Oh, Lord, the whole system that keeps it Thank going. You, you are the creator, are and creator. we recognize that as we begin to pray over provision. Thank you, Lord. And your word says in Psalm 24, 1, one. and Haggai 2, 2 8, and Psalm 50, 10, the earth is the Lord's and everything in it. The silver is mine, and the gold is mine, says the Lord, and I own the cattle on a thousand hills. So I praise you, Lord God, because you not only own the earth, but all of the wealth and resources in it belong to you and are available to you. So, Father, creator who owns it all, oh, yes. thank you. Thank you, Lord. That it belongs to you 
And as your heart as a father is that you provide needs for us Amen. based on what you have. So we thank you. You have all things. Every yes, resource do. needed, you have. And so we look to you and we, we give you thanks. We look to you, Lord. In Jesus' in name. In Jesus' name. And then your word says in Isaiah 119, if you are willing and obedient, you, you will, will eat, eat the, the best, best from the land. land. Therefore, I, I repent, repent from, from any and all unwillingness, unwillingness and disobedience, and I choose to be willing and obedient to you, Lord. Lord. And, and therefore, according, according to your word, I will not only continue to eat and be provided for, but through your blessing, I will eat the best from the land. So, Lord, this is your promise. This, this is, is your, your promise, word. Lord. And we declare that we shall eat the best we of the land the because we have chosen we to, be willing, to be willing, to be obedient, to be and obedient to actually to you, follow Lord. through yes. and be obedient in Jesus', in Jesus name. Jesus' name. And your word says in Proverbs, oh, I'm sorry, in Psalm, Psalm 34, 10, 10 and, and Matthew 6, 33, the young lions lack and suffer hunger, but those who seek the Lord shall not lack any good thing. And, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. So I make the decision to seek you and your kingdom first, to trust you and to obey you. And I declare that because I seek you, I will not lack any good thing. You will add them to me. So, Father, thank you. Thank you we Father. are not like those who have no God, no creator, Amen. no provider. You mm. are the source oh, yes, of all good are. things. And we look to you. We seek you above all things. Thank we you, seek Lord. you and thank you yes, we do. that you provide. You add to us those things that those who have mm. no God have to go after. Amen. We rest in our portion, which is to seek you in all of our ways Thank to you, seek Lord. your kingdom of God. And we receive your provision, the Amen. adding of those things that we need, even today in Jesus' <laughs> even name. Even today in the name of Jesus. Praise God. And your word says in Proverbs 3, 9 and 10, and Malachi 3, 10, Honor, honor the, the Lord with, with your wealth and with the first and best part of all your, your income. income. Then your barns will be full and your vats will overflow and bring the whole tithe into the storehouse that there may be food in my house. Test me in this, says the Lord Almighty, and see if I will not throw open the floodgates of heaven and pour out so much blessing that you will not have room enough to receive it. So, so I thank, thank you, Lord, that, that because I honor you and bring the whole tithe to your house, you will throw open the floodgates of heaven above me and pour out so much blessing that I will not have room enough for all of it. I declare that my barns, every place I store things, will be full, and that my vats, every resource I use to produce income, will overflow. overflow. So we declare Thank right you, now in the name of in Jesus, Jesus name. according to your precious word. Lord, if we come and bring that tithe, that yes, first 10%, we if we you, come Lord. and bring the first we fruits, what is the beginning? Fruits. That uh, tithe on the income and then even offerings and gifts as you direct us to. Lord, you promised that that act of faith would cause you to open the very thank floodgates of heaven. Floodgates. <laughs> Lord, I thank, thank you, you for, for all the tithers right now. All those who have given tithe. Yes. Uh, Lord, regardless of what's happening to the rest of the world, it matters not. You are our God. Are and God. so we declare floodgates Flood even gates. now are being opened yes, above open. all the tithers. Lord, open I not only pray tithers, for Lord. the tithers that are current, but Lord, even somebody right now that as they hear your word, they're saying, yep, I need to do it. I need to tithe. Lord, as they are making the decision yes. to be lifetime Show tithers, <laughs> we want you to be Show lifetime, uh, a lifetime provider. Under so we choose to be lifetime tithers to, to be obedient to your word. 
Even Thank those you, that Lord. are barely making the decision. Yes. Oh, I declare that the windows of heaven open up above them in the name in of Jesus. Jesus. Blessing Lord. from God. Blessing. The, the supernatural blessing. Yes. Supernatural provision. Expected and unexpected things will happen Thank you, Lord. according to your will. Oh, Lord, may we have testimonies yes. in Jesus' yes. name testimonies and lord to the degree that they have an abundance for every good work yes lord thank you that your floodgates opening will not just meet Amen. needs our needs mm -hmm. but lord you will cause an abundance that we can be a blessing thank to you, others Jesus. and that we can give to every good work Amen. in the name of jesus in jesus name thank you lord. in jesus name in psalm 37 18 and 19 yes the, the days, days of the, of the blameless, blameless are known to, to the Lord. Lord. In, In times of disaster, they will not wither. In days of famine, they will enjoy plenty. So I thank you, Lord, that by the blood of Jesus Christ and by your grace, I am pronounced righteous. Therefore, I am known to you, and my inheritance through Christ will endure forever. In times of disaster, I will not wither. And in the days of famine, I will still enjoy plenty. I want us to say that out loud with strength behind it. Yes. In times of disaster, I will not wither. And in the days of famine, I will still enjoy plenty. Let's say it one more time. In times of disaster, I will not wither. And, and in, in the days, days of famine, famine I will still enjoy plenty. Thank you. It is your word. It is your will. And we will walk in this in Jesus' in name. In the name of Jesus. And let's do one more of these here. And your word also says in Isaiah 45, 3, I, I will give, give you the treasures of darkness and hidden riches of secret places that you may know that I, the Lord, who call you by your name, am the God of Israel. So I thank you, Lord, that because I obey you and do your will, you will give me the treasures of darkness and hidden riches in secret places. So Lord, we thank you right now. You are the God who knows where all of the riches are. You know all things. Oh, thank you, Lord. There is money, there is resource, there is favor, there is there are things that are hidden. And you said that you will give the, the hidden riches you, and the treasures of darkness to those people, to those. like Cyrus was in yes. Isaiah 45, who are doing and carrying out your will. And you. Lord Jesus, we saw Thank that you. you sent Simon Peter and you said, go down to the lake and cast in a hook and the fish that comes up first, there'll be a coin in its mouth and it'll be enough. Mm -hmm for the temple tax for you and me. You. <laughs> oh Lord, you know everything about everything and we've already acknowledged and prayed that the earth is the Lord's and all of its fullness and the silver is yours, the gold is yours. You don't see it belonging to anybody else. You are the creator, you own everything. So Lord, right now we thank you Thank you. That there will be no lack in our lives. No oh, no lack for those that are praying with us. In the name of Jesus, Jesus the name. treasures of darkness are, are acquired by your power and your Thank hand. You, the hidden riches in secret places. Yes. Oh, people thought they had it tucked away. Mm. Wicked people thought they had it tucked away where nobody could find it or get to it, but you know where it is. And you said the hidden riches in secret places I will give those to you. Thank and so, Lord, you. this is not about being greedy. This is not yes. about the love of money. No, this is not about the deceitfulness of riches. We Your know your word so warns sure. us about that. We're not looking just to become filthy rich or anything like that. No, Lord, we're talking about provision. So we thank you, Lord, thank you. that you know where the provision is and that you bring it into the hands of thank your you people. For it. In, in Jesus', Jesus name. name. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Well, we've enjoyed being with you today. We look forward to praying with you tomorrow.